Well, first of all, before we get started taking your questions, I do want to know we're talking about women's health care today. And uh, our celebration here in New York is a little bit bittersweet because we know what we're doing here in the state of New York to protect women uh, during pregnancy, new babies, making sure they're healthy, but also making sure that women have options, that uh, reproductive choices are their own. So what is happening here is so different than what we're seeing across the nation. Uh, in the last 24 hours, we saw what happened in the state of Florida, a draconian abortion ban in a state that was one of the few uh, refugees for, for people to go to who needed abortion services, and now that is basically gone uh, six weeks. I'll just crudely say it's a joke. Most women do not know they're pregnant after certain six weeks. I certainly did not. Uh, so it's basically saying women have no rights to an abortion in the state of Florida. And this is not just for women who want to make decisions about when they want to time their families, but also women who may be desirous of a new baby and a healthy baby. And circumstances have changed it in a devastating way. You know, the, sometimes the, the cribs are already bought and the baby's room is painted and the showers are done and something takes a terrible turn of events. And we're also limiting women's options there as well. So uh, physicians in Florida are sounding the alarm that literally women's lives will be at risk. On the other hand, we saw in Arizona... Uh, a couple of uh, outlier brave Republicans uh, who crossed the line and voted with the Democrats to protect reproductive rights uh, because, as we know, the Republican-controlled Senate or state court resurrected an ab abortion ban that was on the book since, yes, the Civil War. So we're really hopeful, and I'm, the governor of Arizona is a good friend of mine, and I know she'll do the right thing, so at least there's a little bit of respite for the people in that state. And then you also pay attention to the national news can't make this up, but Donald Trump said uh, he supports prosecuting women who have an abortion. Yes, he said that. He won't rule out a national abortion ban, and he won't rule out banning IVF, which for so many families in this country is the only option they have to start a family that they want to have. But we are in New York. We'll continue to stand tall, always be that safe harbor for women, and women in the state of New York know that as long as I'm their governor, uh, I will fight uh, every battle that comes our way to ensure that these rights are protected here. So.